Welcome to Moments with Divine Senior, and welcome to my home, the rectory here at the historic Church of St. Patrick's in beautiful downtown Toledo. Uh, you just had an image there of St. Patrick, our patron saint, uh, a beautiful statue that we have here in our, our hall to welcome guests and remind ourselves that we are indeed an Irish parish. We are also a Catholic parish with a big C. And uh, I'd like to just address today uh, one of the great issues that, that percolates around the world, why do we need a church? And even more specifically, why do we need a Catholic church? We need a church because that's what Jesus came to do. When we look at the uh, Old Testament, New Testament texts, what we discover in there is that Jesus is constantly calling people into a community. He never speaks individually to anyone. There's always somebody around, a community, to hear what he has to say. Even when he's raising someone from the dead, the little girl, for instance, Jairus' daughter, he's not alone. He took Peter and James and John with him, and he has Jairus, Jairus' mother or wife, and the little child. There's a community there to witness that little girl rising from the dead. Jesus wants community. Obviously, that must have been a good thing to say because it got underscored by the clock. <laughs> As I was saying, that, that Jesus always uh, summons us into a community. Our, many of our bro Protestant brothers and sisters uh, will tell us that when we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, we are saved. And yes, Jesus will call all of us personally. I was baptized by myself. Nobody else joined me. Nobody else did it with me. I was baptized by myself, but I was baptized into the community. I was baptized into the body of Christ. And St. Paul in his letters powerfully reminds us that all of the baptized, all of the Christians form that one body, that one community, that one church. And so we need a church to make sure that what Paul wrote is true. We all need a Catholic church, on the other hand, because Jesus Christ instituted seven powerful signs of his presence in our lives. Baptism, confirmation, Holy Eucharist, reconciliation, the anointing of the sick, marriage, and holy orders. Each one of those imparts to us the real presence of Jesus Christ. And we need a Catholic church because it is in the Catholic Church that those sacraments are most richly experienced, most consistently celebrated, and most powerfully passed on to the people of God. We need a church because Jesus wanted one. We need a Catholic Church so that what Jesus hoped would happen, his bonding and unity with each one of us would become part of our real life so that we, with Jesus Christ, go out into the world to share the good news. I thank you for watching Moments with the Monsignor. I hope you enjoyed it. And as we say here at our beautiful church, why don't you come home? We'd like to have you with us.